How to apply for an EIN without a social security number. My name is Sam Bryant and I'm an attorney that helps build and protect Florida businesses. So if you're not from the United States and you don't have a social security number or you don't have an ITIN number, you can still get an EIN and open up a, a business bank account in the name of a business in the US. Um, the only difference is just going to be the process. Typically, if you have a social security number or an ITIN, which is a, um, uh, I forgot what it stands for, it stands for Individual Tax Identification Number, that's what it is. So if you don't have a social security number, um, you usually can get an ITIN number and you would be able to apply for your EIN using that number, but that process takes a very, very long time. So what sometimes some business owners decide to do is get an EIN without the social security number or without the ITIN. And you do that by just simply mailing in the form SS4. So if you had a social security number or an ITIN, you would just apply online and then get your, your, um, your EIN pretty much immediately or 24 hours at the very most. If you don't have a social security number or an ITIN, you just have to mail it in. So what you would do is you'd print out the SS4 and then in this in the section 7B where it asks for the, um, the social security number or the uh, ITIN, you would just put an N slash A as, as in not applicable. And you would just mail in that SS4 and um, the process would take a little bit longer because you're mailing it in and the IRS is slower processing paper applications as opposed to the online applications, but you're still going to be able to get your EIN. So if you don't have a social security number or an ITIN, all you just need to do is just, again, just print out the SS4 form. And then in the 7B section, when they ask for your social security number, just, just um, I think you can leave it blank, but uh, the, the best practice would be to just just put in N slash A and then just mail it in. So it may take about four to six weeks, but that's typically how you would do it. So I hope you find that video helpful. If you are starting a business in Florida, I do have a Facebook group that I just started recently. It's called uh, Building and Protecting Florida Businesses. Um, it's open to the public, but it's technically a private group. So you would just need to answer a couple questions, just mainly to see how we can help you most. And I upload content in there on a fairly uh, on a fairly routine basis. On a fairly routine basis, I try to do daily and um, try to give you uh, value outside of these daily videos. So again, I hope you find that helpful, and be sure to join the Facebook group. Take care.